Shalom, Kahala Yahawa, Bashem El Shai, Bashem Rukopadash. The Lord is my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect, where the house of David be born again in this generation. And Shalom to the 130 Asharala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, who before losing their true heritage were known as and still are the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about the false Christian uh, church and its false prophets who constantly come up with gimmicks to try to ensnare and trap the Israelites to believe in man-made doctrines. But before we watch this video that I have for you, let's go ahead and read this. This is Matthew 15 and 9. But in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines of doctrines the commandments of men. Right? And this right here is talking about religion, right? Religion is a doctrine of man. Okay, the Bible, when you get into it, has nothing to do with Catholicism, Christianity, Jehovah Witnesses, any other religion in the world, right? Again, the, the Bible is simply a book of laws, commandments, history of a particular people, that being the Israelites who today are the Negro Latinos and Native Indians. Now you have a bunch of jokers like this guy here, Kenneth Copeland, who's a damned devil, literally, right? He is an Edomite, or what you would refer to today as a so-called Caucasian, right? And the, the Caucasian race, or the Edomite race, are damned, right? The Lord has damned them to damnation, right? To dis internal destruction, right? And this devil here, man, he puts on a show, let me tell you, man. This guy is incredible. Uh, the the feats he goes to to uh, to lure his audience to sleep. Now most of his audience are other, you know, damn Edomites as well. So it don't doesn't really matter. But the simple fact that this man is seen as a prophet of the Lord is is an abomination. That's blasphemy, man. This guy is is a devil, man. You know, and he simply uses the scriptures to to you know get money. That's basically what he does, man. This guy here is a, is a huckster, a con man, right? And we're going to go ahead and see one of his latest cons. Let's watch this. Even includes the drama of the moaning effects. And then I would do the same. Jesus said, take this cup. This is my blood of the new covenant. Yes, Jesus did say that, but he didn't cut his hand and drip blood into the wine. Now we've mixed our blood. That's right. Which is his and which is mine. Now our blood has, symbolically has been mixed here. Now, at the communion table, yes, sir. He said, "This is my blood." Let's see. Even includes the drama of. So these devils here, these Edomites, see, they're making a mockery of the 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 event that took place where the Lord gave his life, right? And like the, the narrator said, man, the Lord did not cut his hand and drip blood into a cup and made the other apostles drink, right? That's actually against the law, man. That's actually blasphemy, man. That's a, that's a sin, right? Let's go and read that. Uh, this is uh, Deuteronomy 12 and 23. Only be sure that thou eat not the blood, for the blood is the life and thou mayest not eat the life with the blood, with the flesh, right? So you see, because these these devils, man, they're, they're cardinal. They can't. They don't understand the uh, that the spiritual implications of what was going on, man. That was simply an analogy, man. The Lord, when the Lord said, "This is my blood," that wasn't literally His blood, man. That was simply, it was it was likened onto His blood, man, because He understood that He was going to give up His life for His for his uh, brethren and also for his nation, right? The one third of, of Israel, the one out of every three Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians 
and the 144,000 elect he was going to sacrifice for. So that way they would have that covering needed so that way they could enter into uh, this next iteration of humanity, right? After the, the Lord comes back and destroys the world, right? You know, or the powers that be, that is, you know, more accurately said, and uh, and, and kills off the majority of, of, of the world, right? The, the one third plus the 144,000 elect will actually be saved and allowed to go into this new state of the earth known as heaven on earth without having to die because they have already been cleansed of their sins, right? Because of this, because of them believing that the Lord shed his blood for them, man, right? And the reason why you, when you drink, uh, when you do that uh, ceremony and you, you drink that wine and it's referred to as the blood of, of, of the Messiah is because you have to imagine it. You have to, you know, understand that his blood, you know, back in, you know, when, when he was crucified, I think it was like back in like 33, you know, around circa 33 AD, right? Because the numbers are all mixed up. So we don't ha have the accurate date and everything. Right, but but back then, this uh, our Lord, He literally shed His blood for us, man. Right, and by you drinking that wine, you you are taking an understanding, or you're supposed to take an understanding that that wine represents, or it's a remembrance of that blood that He shed for us, man. Not like these devils, man, where they're saying, "Oh, this is literally blood." Now our, my blood is mixed with His blood, and this and that. See that these guys are devils, man. They're literally making their their own covenant, right? With their own blood, right? Other people would do this and refer to themselves as blood brothers, right? But these guys are blood brothers and, 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 and damnation, man. Damn tricksters, man. Right? And a lot of people fall for, fall for, for these gimmicks, man, because, let me see. Hold on. Let's get this real quick. This is uh, Jeremiah 23 and 16. Thus saith the Ahabashi Mashai of hosts, Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart, and not out of the mouth of Yahawabashi Mashai. They say, they say still unto them that despise me, Yahawabashi Mashai hath said, Yea, ye, ye shall have peace, and they say unto every one that walketh after the imaginations of his own heart, no evil shall come upon you. Right? And that's exactly what Kenneth Copeland and his other cronies do, man. They they talk, they preach prosperity doctrine, right? Doctrine that talks about how, you know, as long as you give to the church and you believe and you, you know, and, and, and you suffer now that you're going to have prosperity in this world. And if the Lord blesses you, then you're going to be rich. And if you're rich, you're good, right? That's what these devils, you know, preach, man. They don't preach about Jacob's trouble. They don't talk about who the, the Israelites, you know, truly are today, according to the to the uh, prophecies and and the, uh, the the signs of of the curses. Man, they 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 run from that, man. You you want you want to scare a a Christian? You bring up scriptures to them, man. You bring up uh, Deuteronomy twenty eight sixty eight, right? You're gonna watch a Christian uh, fumble. Uh, stutter and 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 suddenly find a find that they have to have a place to be, <laughs> right? As soon as you start bringing up scriptures like that, right? Bring up Revelations two and nine and three and nine, man. You know they're going to talk about how uh, how they're going to start asking you what type of Bible you have, right, man? These guys are damn devils, man. And the thing is, is is unless they're making money off of their their gimmicks, then then they're not they're not going to get into the Bible, man, right? So, we're just out here telling you, Akim, you know, you need to start being careful because this isn't just at the, at the mega millionaire uh, churches, man. This is at, you know, your other, you know, neighborhood churches, the ones that, you know, they have the doors open and every, you know, night you could see people, older people in there singing and, and raising their hands. It's that, those churches too, man. Those people who have opened up. Uh, churches, man, for in the neighborhoods and, and are not, if they're not preaching the truth according to the way the great millstone is, then then they are false prophets, man. They are misleading the people, okay? This is Ezekiel 22 and 28. And her prophets have dabbed them with untempered mortar, 
right? And that untempered mortar is false doctrine, man. It's a doctrine that these devils have made up, right? The things that they've come out of their own hearts with, right? That they're subduing the people. Yeah, it may sound good and it may be all dramatic and, and you know, riveting, but that shit's false, man. That's going to lead you to death. Seeing vanity and divining lies unto them, saying, Thus saith the Lord God, when the Lord hath not, when Yahweh Bashim Ashai hath not spoken, right? And that's all these damn preachers, man. So ultimately, man, I just wanted to just, you know, make this video to show you how disgusting and how much of a lie these, these Christian uh, pastors, uh, uh, you know, keep pushing, man. But, uh, Till the next time, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Ashai, Bashim Rukokadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders, the great millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom.